When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry negotiated their exit from royal duties, it was decided that they would no longer use their His, Her Royal Highness titles, though they retained the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, granted by the Queen on their wedding day. A statement at the time from Buckingham Palace said, the Sussexes will not use their HRH titles as they are no longer working members of the royal family. The statement added, with the Queen's blessing, the Sussexes will continue to maintain their private patronages and associations. While they can no longer formally represent the Queen, the Sussexes have made clear that everything they do will continue to uphold the values of Her Majesty. Since then, however, reports of tensions within the family have grown considerably, particularly after Meghan and Harry's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey last year, in which they shared accounts of alleged mistreatment while working as royals in the UK. The couple have subsequently come under increasing pressure to give up their official titles, particularly ahead of the release of their Netflix and Spotify content, with the expectation that more damaging information about the royal family will be shared. Last week, Niall Gardiner, a former advisor to Margaret Thatcher, tweeted, simply incredible that Meghan Markle still retains a royal title after all she has done to insult and attack the British monarchy. In November last year, it was reported that Meghan introduced herself as the Duchess of Sussex when calling US senators in attempts to influence American politics. Royal commentator Daniela Elsa, writing for News.com.au, said the Duchess has been phoning Washington insiders to lobby them, putting the Queen in a serious bind. She said that the Queen could be forced to act in regards to the Sussex title. However, when Meghan and Harry welcomed their second child, Lilibet Diana, in June 2021, Meghan didn't use her title on the birth certificate, signing it just Rachel Meghan Markle, her birth name. Harry, meanwhile, signed his daughter's birth certificate with Duke of Sussex as his first name and His Royal Highness as his last name. There have also been reports that the people of the County of Sussex wish to reject the titles, after a petition on the issue was signed by more than 2,300 people.